right, it's time for some Python on hardware Yay, news. Bling, There's bling, tons. Bling, bling. Okay, we have a big announcement to make. Well, well we, a couple of big announcements. We, we, we mentioned this before, but it, it's official, official, because we have this graphic now. 8-8-2019. Eight, eight, eight. It's CircuitPython Day. It's CircuitPython Day. Why? So, because it's the sneakiest of days. That's right. We, eight, eight. we wanted to be able to use Blinka to make the, the day. So we're, this year we're going with 8-8. Eight, eight. So we'll have a countdown timer and more. Um, there'll be fun activities online. We're giving the company the day off. It's a big day here at Adafruit. Well, I'll be writing some Python, Python code. Yeah, well, maybe we'll be on Discord. We'll do some yeah, stuff. Yeah, we'll do some fun we'll, stuff. People can, can show off their projects. It'll be a celebration of okay. Blinka. CircuitPython 4.0.0 is out, and then immediately afterwards, release 4.0.0. As, as is normal, whenever you do a big release, it's right. always like, wait! Yep. <laughs> so that's out, and there's a few new features. So, a few? Yeah. Tons? Yeah. The, okay. the, the features is, this is uh, a lot to do with the NRF 52840. Yep. Support uh, as a BLE beacon or peripheral. BLEIO. New support for pixel-based displays. Display I.O., yay. Yep. Uh, USB MIDI. Yay. Lots of languages. Many. And we also have circuitpython.org slash downloads. We also, it just it, because it's just been a, uh, you know nine months since the last release, we have ha added many more boards. SAM51, SAM21, people in the community making boards, um, doing uh, you know, Tindy boards or CrowdSupply yeah. or Kickstarters, and they want them to run CircuitPython. So we have, what, like 60 different boards? 66 different boards. 66 and then this boards. 401 update. Uh, stage library has been updated to 102. Fix a new overflow error with the read palette introduced in 4.0. RC, thanks to Deshipu. And enable round, which is uh, enabled in 3.1.2, thanks to Dan Halbert. And we're already starting on 4.1. Lots yep. of stuff is starting to go in. So, you know, it's not the end. We do it, we do um, releases constantly, maybe once a month at least, if, if not a couple weeks. Um, so, yeah, as, as we head on, update your devices to 4.0. And uh, keep an eye out for 4.1. Okay. With every new release, we have a CircuitPython boot, se boot sequence. You can check this out in the newsletter. Mm -hmm. more. You can now get into safe mode this. by triple clicking. That's right. We also have, uh, if you want to listen to the history of CircuitPython, the uh, podcast that just got released, uh, sorry, there's two. I have. There's two. Yeah. I have two separate things. <laughs> yeah. This first one. This is the history of Circuit Python, the write-up, and this was from PyCon, and Python. Uh, the Python blog posted about this. Yes. Then we have a podcast. It's that, called underscore underscore in it underscore underscore. Yeah. Because I guess it's the first thing you run. I guess when you want to run. And a podcast. this is hardware hacking made easy with Circuit Python episode two hundred and twelve. Yes, I think That's this was, this was uh, recorded at PyCon, maybe, or I'm, right after. I'm not certain, but it's, it's, it's all happening right now. Everything's yes. all happening at the same time. All happening. So that's some Circuit Python in the news. Some additional Python on hardware news, which we thought was interesting, is now MakeCode, if you, use, uh, if you put slash beta at the end of arcade, and then you go to about in the settings. And then you can turn on like, and then extras. Experiments. Yeah, experiments. Yep. There is a static Python mode which is really neat. That just means yet another way to program in Python across all these yes, different editors. Yes, you, uh, you, know, you can do TypeScript, you can use blocks, or you can do Python and you can switch between all three. It's, right. a, it's beta, but um, if you or your schools are in Python, you want to code all your stuff up in Python, it is available. Okay, shout out to um, awesome. everyone who works on uh, the awesome list and then everyone on the team here who works on Adafruit.io. Uh, this is just a screenshot. It is now in the awesome list. So there is um, github.com slash Adafruit slash awesome dash Adafruit IO. You can see a list of all the resources, more including a ton of Python on hardware resources for your IoT projects and more. Yeah, I think it's Cinder. Thanks, Cinder. Updated circuitpython.org slash Blinka. We have uh, Google Corals. Yes. Corals now Machine supported. Machine learning. AI monster. If you want to use CircuitPython libraries with Google Coral, yep. go for it, and it's now available to download. Okay. Hackspace Magazine, they published what was in the magazine on their website. This is the review that Hackspace did at PyPortal, got a 9 out of 10 on their site, and I quote, the best hackable out-of-the-box IoT display available at the moment. That's right, you can read about that. 
There's also some code up from Huey Turtle. This is the Twitter API project to display the latest tweet information from PyPortal. Uh, if you were at PyCon or saw some of the tweets, this was one of the projects there. Nina, who was one of the keynote speakers at PyCon, has a Python 2.7 countdown. How Yay. long until this is gone? Yay, well, please go away. <laughs> yeah. And We'd so, love to Python too. So this is a, a specific project for people that do a lot of Python for when it's going to go from 2.7 to 3.0. It's kind of cool. Oh, it looks like a different graphical mode. Yeah, too. you can have different different looks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice looks. Okay, this is from Max. This is a dozen open source SAM32 boards for a Stanford engineering microfluidics course. And I'm going to quote from Max, who is the instructor for this. CircuitPython allows students to quickly start controlling hardware and collecting data. Yay. That's why they're using CircuitPython. Well, if you're in a class, you want to do microfluidics, you got to get you got to get stuff going fast. You don't have time to learn GCC. That's right. 3D printed cases of UFOs for the Circuit Playground Express. I approve. More UFOs, please. Yeah. So this is the case on top of a glass. So it has a cool effect. Looks like it's beaming up a yes. Maybe a cow or something. Beam me up, Scotty. Okay. Then uh, this is kind of neat. The University of Bath. They. They want to help people make sure they're updating their passwords. So they're using Circuit Playgrounds to do rapid prototyping. And that allows them to like do a little beep or just remind people physically, like, hey, it might be time to update your password. So they're, they're using this as a wearable. So Interesting. check out the, the article in the video. Again, that's in the newsletter. Um, we had some of our PyGamer gaming stuff posted because we're getting ready for launch on this. Recap from Pi Maroney being on the show last week and they had talked about they're interested in supporting Circuit Python, so we have that in there. Some people have asked for that as well in Discord and on their Kickstarter. And then this is a Kickstarter that we wrote about as well. The developers of it, we sent over information. So this is yet another thing that might be running Circuit Python soon. And lots of gaming stuff in the world of MicroPython. These are just a variety oh, of so many people love to make gaming platforms. Yeah, variety of of devices. These run MicroPython, and these are student made. You can learn about their projects in gaming. There was a very brief period of time where MicroPython.org had more stock because they've been selling through their new boards. And if you were the first 50 people, you get a PyBoard D series. I just ordered mine, so I missed out on the shirt. But I'll try again next time. Tiny Pico has some hardware. They also released their files. Uh, they are on Crowd Supply. It's and a MicroPython ESP board. Yeah. yeah. And then also. Um, there's the video series that goes along with it. So yeah. Unexpected Maker's been doing a really good video series. This is MicroPython on the Lego EV3, and they made Flappy Bird. That's funny. So this is a relatively new way to run. That's new, right? Because I think MicroPython yeah. wasn't supported, so they must have gotten some beta yeah, they, they, access. Yeah, it's now, no, it's now supported on there. And it's the latest update for the EV3, and then there's another one that we've been keeping track of. The, sorry, the Splink? No. There's another one. I don't like, remember. Yeah. yeah, it's in the previous news. There's numbers. so many names. Snack is running on Circuit Playground Classic, and it could also probably run on Express. You, yes, it runs on Express, so if you're interested in, in a very, very minimal Python implementation, Python-like yeah. language, and you have a Circuit Playground Classic or an Express, and you want to try something other than Circuit Python, try it out, yeah. especially on the at Mega... 324. I mean, it's minimal, but you can play. Keith, oh, also, the, the developer also got to run on the Itsy Bitsy and whole, there's a whole family of devices. Yeah. Um, More some, snack. So it's summertime, so there's lots of events, lots of things going on. And right now on the schedule, there is the Circuit Playground Express Workshop Girls in Gaming, May 27th at 930 to 930 in the morning at 330. This is Belmore Hall High School. It's a private school for girls in Winnipeg. Um, you'll see that. It's girl... Girls Gaming, girl, girls in gaming .io. Also, um, there's a Circuit Playground Beginners Workshop, Electronics and Coding, Sunday, May 19th, and that just happened. And Sunday, June 1st, this is Makerspace NYC, FutureWorks Makerspace in Brooklyn Army Terminal. Okay, there's more. Uh, September 13th to 17th, PyCon UK. You'll see a lot of Python on hardware talks. I like how there. this is like the this is like the traditional British snakes. That's right. There's a royal snake. There's a proper. There's like a Harry Potter snake. Yeah. And there's like Sh a Sherlock Holmes, Holmes snake. That's yeah. Right. Okay, okay. Good. 
Uh, EuroPython, this is uh, July 8th to the 14th. Then there's the Open Source Summit. The Open Source Summit and the Embedded Linux Conference combine, and this is August 21st to 23rd. It's in San Diego. I think we went to that, right? I went to one of them. I went to a lot of conferences. Uh, okay, this is... Pylodinium. Uh, Pylodinium. This is City of London, June 14th, 15th, 16th. There's a recap for IoT makers in Israel. And that, Lady Ada, is the Python on Hardware News this week. A lot of stuff happening this week. Tons. Okay. All right, summertime. Whew. Get your snacks out. All right. Um...